Hi, Earth Signs. This is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Weekly general reading. If this does not resonate with you, then it is not for you. Okay. And for June 4th through the 10th, I don't know if this is going to be something that I regularly do or not, but I am trying it this week and see how it goes. Hey, this is for Weekly Earth Spirit. Four cards for Earth for this week. Four cards for Earth for this week. Three more cards for three more cards. Three more cards. Four fire. I'm sorry, Earth sign. I just did fire. <laughs> Two more cards for Earth, please. Wow, didn't, wow, okay, well, you guys know that if um, I pull it, then it comes out, um, I mean, if it drops, I use it, so even though I was only trying to use four cards, we're just going to have to set it up and make it work, okay, because <laughs> something is definitely happening here, okay, Whew. now we need an the underlying energy is nine of wands. Okay. So, <clears throat> just give me a minute, please. So, this is definitely um, spilling soulmate twin flame connection here in the first card, four of wands. Um, Somebody is dealing with a lot of struggles, but they're trying to move, trying to move towards this feminine energy here, this Queen of Wands energy. Okay, um, I feel like this is a person because this Ten of Wands here has a lot on that they're dealing with. Okay, so. Um, this masculine energy here feels that he has a lot to deal with and if you notice this ten of wands is looking at her and he is looking at her right okay so um there is going to be an ending to this ten of wands though and to this now i feel like this is the Like, this is what wants, like, this is, like, almost, like, in the wrong position. Because I feel like this is what, um, is what, is what the male energy here wants. And you know what? I'm, I'm not going to, I was going to, I was saying him and her, and then somebody had made a comment on my channel. And then it, like, he's like, oh, your zodiac seems to be aimed at women. Okay, goodbye. Because I'm, I'm going to stop doing that. I, I'm not going to allow somebody to dictate my channel, okay? I know I'm new and everything, but, like, um, that's not fair. So, anyways, I've always said when I use him and her, okay, that's just it. It's him and her, all right? I'm not going to do this, play these games. Anyways, I'm sorry for interrupting your reading. Um, I feel like this is what the guy wants, right? And what the woman wants too. There's going to be in depth to this 10 of wands. Um, and someone is looking, you know, looking for guidance and spiritually, whatever that means to you, you know, whatever religion you practice. Um, and then, um, like basically after this, death of this ten of wands and this new birth this new you know start this this new process begins this rebirth happens they're going to be searching for guidance and then the new beginning is going to start and this is the overall energy this nine of wands obviously um because there's a lot going on here there's a lot of grievances happening there's a lot of um things being worked on there's a lot there's money and um 
you know, and things that are stressing this guy out here. So um, let's get clarity on this Ten of Wands. Clarify this Ten of Wands. Right, okay, so there's a decision that needs to be made about this situation. Um, about this relationship. What is the decision, Spirit, please? What is the decision, Spirit, please? He needs to make the decision. Um, somebody needs to assert, uh, assert themselves more. Um, why, Spirit? Why? Why? There's too mm. There's too many options. And as I was saying that, I pulled that. So there's a third party. The man has a third party. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh-huh. Mm. Clarify these nine of ones, please, spirit. Clarify the nine of ones, please, spirit. I don't feel like I need to, um, he is, <laughs> okay, so he's defending his, what he wants, right? He's defending what he wants and he's going to fight for it, obviously. Um, and it is going to happen. Clarify this death card, please, spirit. Clarify the death card, please, spirit. Uh-huh, told you. <laughs> There's going to be a tower. Um, something's going to happen this week. Oh, God, this is... Clarify the tower, please, spirit. Thank you. And clarify the tower, please. Uh-huh. Hmm. Wow. So there's going to be a shakeup in the home life. Um, I know this card can represent um, tw twin flames, but I don't feel like, I think this in, right now is representing um, his home life. There's going to be a shakeup in his home life. Um, and things are going to be revealed. Uh, what's going to be revealed? Hmm. His plans, his intentions are going to be revealed. Okay. Um, wow. So, clarify this Queen of Wands. Please, Spirit, thank you for all the messages you've given us so far. Please clarify this Queen, queen of Wands. I was about to say Queen of Spirit. <laughs> I don't know if that's a message, but that's definitely what I was going to say. Whoa. Okay. Um... This can just represent passion. Like a lot of passion. Clarify this devil card, please, spirit. Clarify the devil card, please. Clarify the devil card, please. Clarify the devil card, please. Um, I'm feeling like this Queen of Wands energy It's so funny that I pulled the devil and then the Hierophant, which is direct oppositions, right? The Queen of Wands is determined and she's a worker, right? She is passionate about her work. 
and he's bringing to her he's coming towards her but I feel like she has work to do yes there's extreme passion because of course she's the one you know she's the queen of wands so there's passion there's sexual passion <clears throat> but for the Hierophant to come out on top of the devil it means that there needs to be um, she needs to do more work on her inner healing okay Um, clarify the fold, please. King of Cups. Of course. <clears throat> Told you he's changing. <clears throat> he's coming out of this bad energy. And he's going to be the King of Cups. Four of Wands, clarify, please. Moving. He's moving. Possible relocation. Possible he's moving in. You guys, he's moving in with you. Um, clarify the Page of Pentacles, please. Clarify the Page of Pentacles, please. <laughs> this is a um, abundance, fertility, love in all areas. Um, we all know what that is, right? So, clarify the Hierophant. I like to get clarity on all the cards, just in case you guys have questions. Clarify the Hierophant, please. Couldn't be involving a Libra. Um, also, Earth sign. Well, duh, we are Earth signs. Um, this could also indicate a Capricorn is keeping some kind of emotional tie with this Queen of Wands here. Um, <clears throat> so he's trying to figure out how to balance his money in this situation, right? And his home, his kids. Um, he's trying to make sure that everything at home is balanced before his new beginning with his new love, okay? So that was the, um, that was the reading on that. If you have, need any clarif clarity on that, then, um, please just email me okay um, so I'm gonna pull three more um, I'm gonna pull more cards from three more decks um, I'm using all my decks and when as I get more I will probably use all of them <laughs> so that's gonna take a while you know okay so this is the Archangel Guidance cards. Spirit, please pull three for Earth for this week. Guidance for Earth. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for this week, please. Spirit. Three cards, please, Spirit. Oh, okay. So all is well. Everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. Compassion. Soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved, including yourself. That includes Carmex. Okay. I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see my love. Oh, I'm sorry. Clearly see heavenly love. Okay, well, maybe that was a message. Okay. Relationship harmony. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Okay. These are pretty <laughs> self explanatory. I don't feel the need to explain you guys to these, these cards. Um, I don't have any messages that are sticking out with me to tell you, so it just is what it is. Three cards for Earth, please. Three cards for Earth. Guidance for Earth for this week, please. Guidance for this week, please, for Earth. One more card, please. Okay. 
spirit does what spirit wants to do. <laughs> okay. The goddess of never not broken. Oh, this came out in last reading. Everything happens for my liberation. I choose to become only more love. The goddess of light. We are all sacred mirrors reflecting back the same light. The goddess of compassion. I recognize suffering in order to release it. Curiosity breeds compassion. The red lady. I am pure strength. I honor my anger by giving voice to it. The only one I feel the need to explain here because the rest are pretty explanatory is the red lady. If you need any clarifying, um, if you need any clarity on these cards, you can comment below and I'll, you know, post the, um, I will read, um, I will read the definitions if you want, but the one I feel called to explain is this one because I actually got this one when I read myself. Um, I am pure strength. I honor my anger by giving voice to it. Um, that basically means that when you're angry, you don't need to come from a place of hatred. You need to come from a place of love. Okay. So when you give your anger voice, don't give it a negative connotation. Feed your anger with love. So what I mean by that is if you're mad at an ex-husband or your DM or your boss, instead of lashing out and doing something vengeful or hatred, I mean hatred, hateful, um, then come from a place of love, okay? Truly love, like meditate. I don't care what they did to you, okay? Because I'm going through a bad time right now, so I know how difficult it is, and I'm learning this lesson myself right now, so I understand that there are just bad people in this world, you know, but what happens when you stay angry at this person? What does that do to that person? Uh, nothing. <laughs> what does it do to you when you stay mad at somebody? It weighs on your mind. It causes you anxiety. It causes you not want to eat or it causes you to overeat. It causes you to drink, smoke cigarettes, smoke weed, whatever it is that is a negative ailment. Um, having hatred for people drives you to it. Okay. Drives you to addictions. Please do not allow people that power. Two more cards for earth please for this week this is guidance guidance goddess guidance your independence is a foundation for your strength and success honor the cycles of your body energy levels and emotions <sighs> what did I just say <laughs> right and emotions okay please send that hatred into love turn it into love right when you send love and light to others, you'll be amazed at how they receive it. Okay? And even if they receive it, I'll give you an example. My ex has a girlfriend. I told him yesterday, because Spirit told me to, to thank his girlfriend for treating my kids like they're her own. Lord, do you think my ego wanted to do that? Huh? No. <laughs> but I did it. Then this morning I said, hmm, I want to know what she said. And then Spirit was like, Jessica, why? Why do you care what she said? Giving her response power over your feelings is giving her control over your life. So then I responded back to him and I was like, you know what? That's none of my business. Have a good day. And he responded, okay. <gasps> Woo! That was a whole lot from me, okay? Because people that know me know that I have a short temper and this path has not been an easy one for me, okay? I'm just saying. <sighs> Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. Bright future. Okay? That is your reading for this week. Earth signs. <laughs>
Okay. If you have any want any clarity, respond below. Like, subscribe. Love. Love and light to all of you.